check it out, boys and girls. The guy scored. God, I love my friends. All right, so for those who may not know, if you watch my Burger Time video, I have a friend of mine collecting every PS1 game, and she's kind of after some of my games. Last night, I gave her two more. And this morning, she had knocked on my door. She's like, I'm in a hurry, but here you go. She watched the video. She remembered the two I wanted. And um, this is by my arcade. They're little miniature arcade games. And then it's an actual arcade game. And the weird part is that um, most, most people may not know, but a lot of people are releasing, well, companies releasing games really cheaply. And this one is dedicated to, you know, the companies. So, Die East was released for the first round earlier this year by my arcade. And um, Namco was next. I put some links below from that video. And I'll, I'll connect everything. There's a little history right there. But these are really cool. They work off four AA batteries or a USB. They're true arcade style cabinets. Um, Burger Time was more of a collaboration because uh, Die East and uh, Midway, and I screwed up by the way, it was not Williams, Midway. Uh, released uh you know two style cabinets but the game was the same and so what they decided to do was do a kind of a homage to it a little wink and a nod to what they were up to but these are the actual supposed to be actual style cabinets and from what i could tell they are so these were the first few released namco ones um Mappy, Miss Pac-Man, and uh, Galaxian is supposed to be following, but this is the first round. So, my friend, you know, gave her some games last night. Tried to give me money. I was like, I don't want your money. We're gamers. Just let me come over and play games. And so, she went back to Walmart and got these. And I asked her, I was like, how much are these? She's like, they're $25 all day long. So if you are going to buy these little miniature games for uh, from my arcade, websites asking for $34, Amazon's asking for $34, plus shipping, unless you're a Prime member and then just $34, but save 10 bucks plus shipping. Go to Walmart, motherfucker, God, just, just enjoy it. So, what I did, once again, prepare us for the opening. Cut the, uh, there's one here, one here, and one here. And I cut the, uh, opening. So that way we could just watch the unboxing. Let me get a better angle. And, wait a minute. The book's on top. And if you see the video for Burger Time, book's in the bottom. Actually, I got two books in the bottom. So, it's supposed to be on top, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Maybe just books on the bottom. Maybe get one on top, one on the bottom. Uh, no. Okay. What's cool about these boxes, by the way, is that once you unbox it, you get just throw it right back in there to keep it cool. But I have been playing my burger time. Wow, look at this. Still actually has the instructions. Just like old school. Oh my goodness, and there's points. I don't know if you can see that. It tells you the points, just like just like the old school arcade. The, 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 there are stickers here that's really cool, I mean, because they're really thick. It's not paper or nothing, so it's very good quality. Still hardcore, heavy duty. The side feels... I guess the whole side's a sticker, maybe? I don't know. But it feels really smooth. You got your uh, volume up and down here. And you put your headphones in there if you want. Put batteries in here. And then, of course, 
the USB port. Um, one thing I've been told, and I, I didn't think about this, but I'm glad I, I read it, uh, well, heard about it, was that, you know, you have one of those USB ports uh, with a white, you know, power adapter that really supercharges your phone. I got an S7 Edge, and I got one of those adapters. You can fry these things with them, so use a regular adapter. Probably plug it through your, your computer or just a regular black one. All right, let's check this out. Galaga, my game. I used to own the actual full-size version of this in my house. Um, <laughs> pretty fucking badass. Unfortunately, I sold it because, well, you know, get offered so much money, you will sell. But it's kind of cool to have. There's a little history there. Um, a little miniature version of it. Now these were actual arcade games and these systems, so looking forward to it. Let me once again I just make sure the tape was off. And it's on top too. Son of a you know what? Someone was really lazy for the uh, burger time. Alright. Pull this out. Is there nope, no extra instructions. But once again, you know cool box that you get we put in there all right let me see here yep there's vibe up down and your headphone jack battery port and that all right beautiful beautiful artwork I'm glad this sign went down cool so we got the little stickers here. Let me uh, take it off the screen. Oh, yeah. Got to take this one off too. Really cool. Shows you what it's supposed to look like, but... It's a little dot here. Oh, speck of uh, dust. Alright. So there we go. Let me get some batteries. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Alright then. Look at that. And let's hit the power button. Whoa. Look at that. So beautiful. I don't know about you. Maybe it's just me, but I'm a nostalgic kind of guy. It's like when I see an actual arcade game, an actual arcade system. Yeah, I, I own this on the PS2, Namco, you know, 50th Anniversary Edition. But just to see it actually function just like it's supposed to in the arcade with the instructions. I don't know if you get all that. And, and then have all the bonus points and just being in the, the zone. Is really cool. Okay. So we got reset and start. Start is going to be your enter a coin. And let me raise the volume up. Sweet. I'm trying to get my finger in the way. Huh. I'm not trying to play a game, I'm just trying to show the game. I'll get really into this here in, in a little bit. Should have went for the cherry. There you go. <laughs> well, you get the idea. So you got Pac Man. The impact. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, went the wrong way. That was all on me. 
So, by the way, these they the joysticks, you know, unscrew. So for all the kiddos out there in the world, oh, there you go. See. So all the kiddos out there in the world who want to use, you know, D-pad, they can. But I'm just all old school. I'll always be about the joysticks. All right. Let's power this puppy on. Be like the arcades. Put them all together. <laughs> oh, sweet. And got our joystick here. Fire. Start. There's the volume here. Trying to do this one handed, it's kind of funky. Now, the first round, I don't have to do much, just gotta shoot. I just don't want to kill all the big dudes. The ones that actually give you the uh, extra ships. <laughs> well. Well, I'll be playing it a little later, but still, the, the graphics were really cool. It, it, I'm just thrown back. It's just really, really cool. Uh-oh. I think it captured my ship. And game over. <laughs> so how cool is that? So I gave a friend of mine two games, didn't expect nothing in return, and got this. Pretty fucking badass. Gamers gotta take care of gamers. So I hope you enjoy this. Once again, solid cabinet, solid work. It's it's really you know worth if I was going to pay $25 per unit, I wouldn't pay $35. But I would pay that $25. That's well worth it. This is a lot better than what we used to have released as handhelds back in the days with the LCD. These are actual video games inside these little cabinets. I mean, look at the detail. It's just amazing. You know? I guess I could just get Miss Pac-Man next and Mappy. <laughs> oh my god, I'm about ready to have a little small collection. Alright guys, I'm very happy to have a good friend take care of me. I, I, I really couldn't afford this on my own without her. Now I'm giving her something that she really wants, so that's kind of cool. Gamers take care of gamers. Alright guys, I'm going to hang out. Play some old school video games. Layers, guys. <laughs>